Liberal Viewer presents. So the U.S. Supreme Court has recognized that the U.S. Constitution protects an individual's right to privacy at least since the landmark 1965 case of Griswold v. Connecticut striking down a law on privacy grounds that prohibited married couples from getting birth control, and the right to privacy was also the basis for the landmark 1973 case of Roe v. Wade striking down a law making it a crime to get an abortion, which is why potential Republican candidate for President Donald Trump looked pretty ill-informed when he was asked the questions about privacy and abortion by NBC's Savannah Guthrie, you can see in this clip. Is there a right to privacy in the Constitution? I guess there is. I guess there is. So and how does you, that... And why, just out of curiosity, why do you ask that question? Well, I'm just wondering how that squares with your pro-life views. Well, I don't, it's a pretty strange way of getting to pro-life. I mean, it's a very unique way of asking about pro-life. Uh, why are you, what does that have to do with privacy? How are, you, how are you equating pro-life with privacy? Well, you know about the Roe v. Wade decision. Yes, right, sure. Look, I'm for pro-life. I am pro-life. I've said it. I've been that way for, you know, for a fairly extended period of time right now. Now, it seemed pretty clear from that answer that Donald Trump didn't know much about the Constitution, privacy, or Roe versus Wade, which is why even conservative New York Times columnist David Brooks, who had been arguing that Trump is a serious Republican candidate, had to respond to David Gregory's question about Trump's abortion answer like this. Does that kind of answer hurt him? Once uh, he yeah, starts to get answer, more scrutiny. Well, that answer is like, I can see Roe v. Wade from my house. It's like a, a Sarah Palin type answer. I, I haven't really been paying attention to politics because I don't know much about it. He, he clearly doesn't know much about it. <laughs> I love that I can see Roe v. Wade from my house comparison. And I have to agree with David Brooks' assessment of Trump's answer there. But less obvious was a fundamental problem with the way NBC anchor Savannah Guthrie phrased her question when she asked... Is there a right to privacy in the Constitution? Hmm, no, that's just the wrong question, because while the right to privacy is never explicitly mentioned in the text, it's a mistake to assume rights not specifically enumerated in the Constitution are not protected by the Constitution. The phrasing of that question completely misconstrued the Constitution because, no matter how many conservatives may argue that liberal activist judges make up rights that don't appear in the Constitution, the Constitution itself says that argument misconstrues the Constitution. Really, right in the Ninth Amendment, it says, quote, The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people, unquote. So, asking if a right is in the Constitution is just the wrong question if you're trying to figure out which rights the Constitution protects. And before deciding this criticism is nitpicking, keep in mind that according to her NBC bio, Savannah Guthrie graduated from Georgetown Law School with honors and covered the Supreme Court for Court TV, which makes me think she should be more conscientious about fundamentally misconstruing the Constitution, but I want to know what you think. Did that interview clip make Donald Trump look bad, make Savannah Guthrie look bad, both or neither? And on the question that Donald Trump never really answered, should the U.S. Constitution protect a right to privacy that includes a right to make intimate decisions about abortion and birth control free from government interference? I, YouTube, you decide.